Hey, what's up, guys? I want to talk about heritage brands. I personally am not a fan. I just throw that out there. But I realize there are a lot of loyal fans out there on the different forums online, which makes sense because that's where the forums are. This is a great opportunity for me to kind of lay out the exact reasoning why I'm not a fan of heritage brands and why I still am not a fan of heritage brands, yet I absolutely love this shoe. Let's get started. This is the Harvard Loafer, and I've done an unboxing and I've done a few general reviews about it, so I won't get too deep into that other than just kind of giving you some context about the shoe so that I can talk about the topic of heritage brands. So just to cover the basics, this is an unlined Shell Cordovan Loafer in Horween Whiskey Shell Cordovan, and this is on the 314 um, Classic Mock Toe Penny Loafer last. Heritage brands are a category that I'm not a huge fan of, um, not necessarily because, you know, I dislike the brand, but the idea of the heritage brand where the value is something that you're paying for, but you don't always have the opportunity to touch, feel, or see that translate into the shoe. In this specific situation, I think this is an incredible value because this is one of the classic models for this mock toe penny loafer, especially if you're looking for an unlined pair in Horween Shell Cordovan. So from this perspective, that is kind of the cut and dry reason as to why I decided to give a heritage brand a try specifically for this loafer, because it is exactly what I wanted. The idea of the heritage brand where you're paying for the, uh, the brand, you're paying for the aesthetic and you're paying for the idea that kind of comes along with that brand such as Crockett and Jones, Alden, Allen Edmonds, uh, you know things along those lines to where you get a, a very very well made shoe. It's reliable. It doesn't necessarily excel in any one particular area but it's just an all-around solid shoe. I think that's a great concept. There's nothing wrong with that. This is like a um, you know, a 900 or almost a thousand dollar penny loafer. Now, Carmina, I wouldn't necessarily categorize Carmina as a heritage brand, but I think they're in the same range of quality and craftsmanship that you get. Still Horween Shell Cordovan, still Goodyear Welted. It's very comparable in quality um, materials used and fit execution, all of that. Now, on the flip side of that, if we look at the range up from Crockett and Jones price-wise, you're looking at a hand-welted uh, made-to-order pair from Antonio Meccariello, an artisanal handmade shoemaker. This is about a $1,300 to $1,400 shoe, I think, maybe a little more than that, but it's completely hand-welded, hand-lasted. It has this beautiful peccary skin. I was able to customize the apron to have a different hand stitch, customize the fit a little bit, and really choose every single option. When you're looking at the kind of like pound for pound value and pricing across these three options, are these all equal? No, I think this is definitely the best shoe. But when you're looking at these two, these are equal and you can save money going this route and you're getting a very on par option and overall kind of product. But when you're looking at the heritage brands and you start talking about Edward Green, and you're talking about a loafer the same as this, but it is $1,800, you know, that's more than a fully handmade shoe here in a premium leather. I say all that and uh, circle back to my decision to buy this shoe, the Harvard loafer, and I don't regret it at all. If I had to do it over, I would 10 out of 10 times still buy this because this is one example that I think they excel extremely, extremely well at. Hopefully this provides a little context or a little clarity around some of my past comments about Heritage Shoes. Nothing against the brands, the shoemakers, they do great stuff. It's really just the idea of Heritage brands that I'm not a huge fan of. Let me know your thoughts on the topic 
Let me know if you have any questions about this shoe or any of the other shoes you saw in the video today. And I appreciate your support. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks.